you doing? Hello, well, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Here's another example. Half a world away in Australia. Sue and I met up with the respected conservationists Lizzie Cork and Shane Neal. They run a marsupial nursery here at Cape Otway, and right now they're tending to these young koalas. We've actually got one ready to ready to actually be released today as well. There's this boy here called Nick. So when you take him out to release him, I can't believe you're going to do that while we're here. But would you think he'll just go up in the tree and not? Will he come and see you if you come back there to check on him? No, they're they're fantastic. They will actually slot back into that wild behavior when they get out into the out into the wild when they've got a tree that's nice and nice and tall they just yeah they get back in that frame of mind and this is I always want to hear this must be your voice I think What's that? Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Those aren't little ones, are they? They, they are. This is two no. little joeys, two orphans. Oh, oh right. Sue. That doesn't even look oh. real. Look they at just, this. They just look like they're absolute perfect little teddy bears, really, aren't they? They are very, very cute. W- will you try and put these both out together? That's right. Yes, these two will be released together eventually. It's from the day that they arrive and they're bruised and battered and tiny. That's the, the aim, is to have them back out and in the wild and living independently and doing what, what they should do, isn't That's it? That's right. That's an amazing It's very thing. rewarding to see them go exactly back right. again. Yeah, seeing them yeah. Yeah, fit back out into the wild environment and... and yeah. yeah, and do well. Oh, hello. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Look at yeah, that. His arm is good. He's saying goodbye to you. Look at that. Turn around oh. and just look at you. Nice big fat belly. <laughs> It was a privilege for us to watch this young animal being released back into koala society. This is a story I hear all over the world. When there are animals in trouble, it's good to know that there are so many dedicated people committed to their survival.